This can get messy, tedious, but I guess sometimes therapeutic, but most times meh. Hello and welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me in this Art Addicts Alliance video for the month of January 2022. And in this month's theme was a draw this in your style or a screen cap. And this month I went with a screen cap of Encanto. But before we get started, I thought I'd bring you along on a mini journey of how I prep my surfaces for painting and maybe it'll help you. It's honestly really simple. I take my white gesso, pick out an acrylic color. I've been experimenting a lot lately with different color canvases. I'm still trying to understand and teach myself color theory, so this is a part of that. Using different canvases for different subjects depending on the subject's color. I think it's been going pretty well, but I haven't decided on a favorite color yet, and though I usually tend to lean towards the warmer colors, today we'll go on the cooler side. I pour my white gesso onto a dried out palette and add a few drops of acrylic paint and use a palette knife to make the color into the gesso. Then using a flat brush I lay down my colored gesso onto my surface using brush strokes going in one direction. I start vertical. This is super super important because you want to make sure it's uniform and one side doesn't have more gesso buildup or texture than the other. I mean a little sanding could always fix that but I just like to avoid sanding in general. Unless that's your thing and you like it, then you do you. Um, but once I've covered all my surfaces with one layer of gesso in the one direction, I make sure the layer is dry and then turn the canvas and go over with a second layer, again, going in one direction, kind of like crisscrossing my strokes. Think like you're checkering the canvas. The texture comes out even and there's no obvious brush strokes unless you're really clumping it on there. Um, but side note, I love mixing the craft paint into the gesso because it gives it this matte feel that I absolutely, absolutely love. I may not have a preferred style, but I know that I love this matte velvety mediums so I really want to explore all matte mediums now and that's basically it once it's dried it's good to go um, unless I want some more texture I may repeat the process maybe two or three more times or if like the surface is super stubborn then I may have to do some more layers again it depends on what you're gessoing um, and it's all up to your preference you know the more you paint the sooner you'll find what actually works for you and that's pretty much how I prepare all my painting surfaces I paint them all, I do them all this same basic way whether it's a plain board whether it's a masonite board or masonite board however you pronounce it or a wood panel or a canvas I mean sometimes I like to go straight onto the canvas but a lot of times I like to put down the gesso with a color it's just a lot of fun to paint that way. Yeah, so let's talk about the Art Addicts Alliance. If you are new to my channel, the Art Addicts Alliance is a group of artists on YouTube that collab once a month on an official prompt that we vote in on our Discord. You can also join our Discord and vote for the monthly prompt. You can also suggest themes, chat with us, and share your art or your content. If you're interested in becoming an official permanent member, you can apply right on our Discord. We only ask that you are an active creator, meet our age requirements, and have a minimum of 100 subscribers. If you don't want to commit on being a permanent member, you could also join as a featured guest for the month, whatever it is that you feel most comfortable with. It's a great supportive group of artists and art lovers. It's fun to see how everyone makes the monthly prompts truly their own. And the Discord is also a fun place to just keep in touch and talk about random things and share stuff and just make new art friends. So far, this amazing group of awesome artists is made up of Jazz Capri, Web Light Dreams, Jenna Gets Creative, Pandimensional Space Zombie, All Funnies and Games, Aurora's Art World, Bluefin, The Artsy Pineapple, Enjoy Drawing with Mary, Color Nix, Jude's Art Desk, Fuzzy Dragons, and me. You can click the Discord link at the bottom below if you want to join in on our chats. I highly recommend that you check out all their channels. They are super, super amazing. Let's talk a little bit about the painting and Encanto. I decided to work with my Rebecca Green and Holbein acrylic gouache set on an 8 inch by 10 inch mixed media board. I really love acrylic gouache because it feels a lot like painting with acrylics but with the consistency and the matte finish is just 
beautiful i mean chef's kiss i'm not sure why it took me so long to try out gouache but i think it might be my new favorite medium i'm not sure the only downside would be that i can't paint like on a huge canvas i mean i'm sure i could but i feel like it would be way more expensive because i'd be using a lot more paint so i'm definitely going to be trying to find alternatives that feel like gouache you know i might even get a matte medium to i think i have a matte medium actually to mix into my acrylics and make them matte also did you know that golden now has a matte acrylic line of paints i received some um free samples from them and honestly i cannot wait to try them out they sent me three they're called so flat golden matte acrylic yeah i have to think about what i'm gonna do because it's not a super huge sample i honestly can't wait they are super expensive so it'll be nice trying them out before committing to that price tag anyways those are the materials now if you say you haven't heard of encanto by now you must be lying or my algorithm is really just stuck on this movie encanto is a story about the amazing familia madrigal a family that was blessed with an enchanted candle their miracle that would bestow gifts to the children born of the madrigal family when they come of age of course the story follows the black sheep of the family if you will mirabel who was by some unknown reason skipped from having a gift she senses their magical home was in danger of something and unsure but ready to finally make a difference in her family she sets out on a mission to save their miracle on the way, she helps her family members cope with feelings that they couldn't express freely. Encanto is an amazing movie and hits so many emotions, pressures, and expectations that can come from your family. And the music, the music is just amazing. When I was little, I was a huge fan of Carlos Vives. I even had his poster on my wall. Carlos Vives sings the theme song, Colombia, Te Quiero Tanto. And when I first heard it, his voice is so recognizable and unique to me that I thought, no way. No way did Disney actually have the Carlos Vives on the soundtrack but they did plus the other songs like surface pressure we don't talk about bruno what else can i do i mean you have relatable and catchy songs plus the familiar sounds of south american culture just really got stuck on me i mean sure it's not peru but seeing my fellow south americans being represented on a big screen made me really happy plus it's extremely relatable with abuela holding a certain expectation of us all and just the family structure in general and the look and the way they dress i mean it was it was also beautiful to experience. I painted this opening scene where Casita gave Mirabel her glasses and she was getting ready for the day. I don't know why I like this scene so much, just seeing that millisecond of her glasses on her dresser just really stuck out to me. I mean, it's probably because it looked like the perfect still life shot and I just really, really wanted to paint it. I've been really tempted to paint way more still life because that's all Instagram's feeding my brain right now. I'm sure once they start force feeding me a bunch of illustrations, I'll want to move on to that too. But for now, still life's looking pretty nice but at the same time i'm trying to practice my values in portraits but with oils since they're a much more forgiving medium it's been fun i love portraits and i love still life it's so hard to pick a path honestly i've watched so many videos on finding your art style and it's always just keep painting or just keep creating keep mixing things up experiment but what if you like all of it like, I can't decide what I like doing more. I don't know if I like portraits more. I like the challenge of it. I like the feeling of accomplishment when it's done, but I also like the freedom of still life. I like the feeling of taking something ordinary and turning it into art. So like, what do I do? What do I focus on? I guess I just have to keep going, but it's just so weird to not know and feel like you're just going to be stuck in the same loop of inconsistent art. Maybe I'm just thinking too much about it as per usual, but you know, I'm not entirely sure how we got here from talking about Encanto, but I'm glad I did because that felt really nice to say out loud, you know? I summon the courage of Mirabel to remain persistent, not give up hope, and not sit on the sidelines waiting on a miracle, and maybe get some colorful glasses at my next appointment, you know, be bold. I already got the colorful hair, so why not? Well, maybe because I guess it'll clash. I don't know. I don't really care. Oh, and to also embrace my culture even more because it's freaking beautiful. Pink and pride all day. Anyways, if you haven't seen it, you should. It's an awesome movie. Uh, thanks for sticking around for this wild ride. Oh, I also added some gold gouache on the rims of the glasses, although I don't really have a good shot of it. I do love the way it came out, and I put it in this little cheap Dollar Tree frame, but I think the color just goes so perfectly with it, but yeah um thank you so much for joining me in this video uh go check out all the other artists and i hope to see you next time bye oh and tell them i said hello